welcome or welcome back to my channel so today i wanted to do an updated episode for the series you guys have really been liking it and you've been requesting me to do more so i was pretty excited about that because i actually didn't expect the series to be like a big hit or anything so if you haven't watched the first episode of my phlebotomy series i will link it i pretty much explain what going to class is like what the pricing was like and like pretty much like what the plan of the course is going to be. So if you haven't seen that video already, then definitely make sure you go watch it and then come back to this one. So today in this video for the second episode, I just kind of wanted to update you guys on things we've been doing in class and just kind of like my experience so far. If you guys don't know already, I go to the class twice a week, every month, every Tuesday and Thursday from six to 10 and we do different things. We pretty much for the most part go over lecture notes for like an hour or two in the beginning of class Class, depending on how long it takes for us to get through it and we review um, previous chapters every single class for example if you learn chapter 4 on Tuesday then on Thursday we're gonna review chapter 4 like stuff we learned like he reviews by asking those questions and then we move into the next chapter so that way we are kind of like revising at the same time but my class is very small we have like probably like 16 17 people in it so we were able to finish learning really soon we're like way ahead of schedule but now we moved on to doing like poking each other pretty much like sticking each other so the category is like capillary sticks which is kind of like finger sticks and venipuncture is the sticks that you get in your arms and like other places in your hands those are also venipunctures so so far i will insert some clips of us doing it i will say that doing the capillaries was super easy i was pretty nervous at first because i was kind of scared that like i was gonna like hurt my patient which we practice on each other but now that i do capillaries so often it's like not even a big deal it doesn't even hurt so i'm sticking you in okay what fingers are amazing <laughs> <laughs> Apply pressure. Like I said, we practice on each other, so like every single class, like I pretty much come home with like needles, needle marks in my arms and like my fingers, but I'm just super used to it now, so like doesn't really bother me. The tricky part though was when we started doing venipunctures. Well, we all kind of like struggled equally pretty much, but some people definitely got it a lot faster than others. I will say that it took me like probably like three or four classes to even get like a drop of blood. I mean, it's not hard, but it's just like, there's a technique to it that you like have to figure out eventually. Obviously like one of the things you do, or well not obviously I guess, but what you do is you put on the, the tourniquet and then you look for the vein and like finding the vein at first was kind of difficult. Now it's easy. It's just like whatever is like squishy. And obviously you can't poke somebody in their tendon because then um, that can like damage their nerves or whatever. Doing that is not the hard part, but like inserting the needle and like going deep enough in the beginning was so hard. Like the first time I did it, I did, I was like super scared to like put the needle in my patient. So like I um, didn't even really go that far. Like I pretty much was at the surface, which you don't want to do. You have to get it pretty like in there you obviously don't have to like go through their arm which i know some people had like an issue with in the beginning was that they wanted to put the needle like super deep my problem was that i like really wasn't i didn't want to put the needle in like at all and then like having to like anchor the vein before you put the needle in it just it takes like a while to like learn the steps because at first it seems like there's like a hundred things to remember but after a while like i eventually got it and now like i get blood like one two three definitely changes on the person though so don't want to jinx it. I just kind of want to get better at that over time. And I think eventually like with practice, I will. So as you guys can see, um, we struggled a little bit. I normally like to kind of, in the beginning, I like to like rehearse what I'm about to do. That way I can like remember. We pretty much use like the bigger needles. Um, I forgot what they're called, but they're like regular needles. Um, where I know a lot of clinics use butterfly needles. So I'm trying to get better at using butterfly needles. Butterfly needles, they don't hurt that much, but I feel like it's harder to get blood. But that's just like where I'm at right now in my journey. Um, so far, we are going on spring break next week. So after that, we have a couple more weeks and we're going to study for the... Um, there's a final for a class, but then there's also the state exam which is like how you get your certification. We've been doing practices. It doesn't really seem that hard, but 
yeah obviously i am going to study for that and i will probably film like a study with me type of video so if you guys want me to do like a study with me for that exam specifically i'll do it because i have to study anyways so yeah those are the kind of the things that we have coming up like i said once we start going to clinicals at the hospital and stuff i'll try my best to start filming and like vlogging there as much as i can obviously because of like hipaa but yeah just like the way that i vlogged when i used to volunteer at the cancer center where like that's a part of my pre-med series so like obviously you know if you're into that then definitely go watch that yeah that's kind of just where we're at right now i just wanted to do like a very quick update and just kind of talk to you guys through like what we do and just kind of like the process and also like show you guys a little bit um yeah so if you guys like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you want me to keep continuing this series or you like this series or whatever definitely let me know because i do listen to your feedback and i don't want to like post content if it's like not beneficial or helping you guys definitely let me know and i will see you guys in the next one bye